Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about a series of tools that can help you do social media monitoring. Right? So I'm going to talk about two tools in particular. One is called TweetDeck uh, and the other is called Hootsuite. Um, and TweetDeck is one I use, so I actually have my feeds up and running right here right now. Uh, and one of the things you can see is that when you first start it up, ignore some of the screens over here for now, when you first start it up you essentially get three columns to show up, which is your home, which is essentially your, your timeline feed from Twitter, your notifications feed, and your messages feed, right? And so notifications are things that mention you, right? So there's some people who liked various tweets I issued. Um, the, uh, the column over here is uh, direct messages to me. So as you can see, I've been having some interactions with Away, a luggage company in Delta about a smart bag that I have. Um, and so those show up over here. Um, and the reason why these tools are close, so that just is what you would get if you get like just use the normal Twitter app on your phone or something like that. But one of the things you can also do here that's kind of nice is you can first of all have multiple accounts, right? So I have my normal account by under my name Bill Rand. I also have my uh, MOOC account uh, under Intro to ABM, which is the account I use for communicating with the students in my MOOC. Um, I have a craft beer account that I maintain as well. And then if you go all the way down here, you can also see these great things. You can see another different features I maintain as well. So there's a scheduled account, and we'll talk about this in a second, but you can schedule tweets to go out at a certain time, right? And if you do, then they'll show up here as to when they're gonna go out. But then the next couple of columns are what really makes this a monitoring tool, right? So what I've done here is I've added a number of columns that are monitoring for certain words that I might be interested in. One thing I suggest, you know, I essentially am using this tool for my own brand and my own reputation right now. And so one of the things I'm doing here is I'm monitoring for my own name. So I can see if anyone else mentions me. A lot of these are false positives. There are some other William Rands out there. Um, it also will pick up on any tweets that you yourself issue, right? So I had, I have a couple up here that got picked up on. But you know, every now and then it'll come across one um, that uh, has something that actually I would not have seen otherwise uh, or for some reason um, would not have caught up upon, right? They, maybe they didn't use my exact name. Maybe someone mentioned me in passing at some other time, right? So for instance, here's one. This is um, someone who uh, was posting about um, a, a online workshop that I gave, right? They didn't actually use my Twitter handle, so it didn't show up in my mentions feed, right? But it shows up here instead, right? And then the Bill Rand one is mainly just showing all the tweets I have had um, in, um, in mentioned because it shows up my own name. I also, because of my name and because of Rand Paul, I get a lot of false hits, right? Where people say something like, that same bill Rand proposed in the Senate, right? So this is a piece of legislation that Rand Paul proposed, right? Uh, and I, um, you know, this is something I think you should be aware of. You know, not just using every single count of your name as um, as an indication of your actual um, band, brand. And then I've also done some s subject based ones. So I, I work a lot in nature based modeling. So I have a search for all tweets that mention nature based modeling. And I work a lot with a piece of software called NetLogo. So I have all tweets that mention NetLogo. And just to show you, I could add a new column at any time. And I could do it based upon a list, based upon activity, likes, et cetera, a variety of things. The most standard way to do it is uh, based upon search. So let's say I want to find all the tweets that measure, mention the phrase digital marketing, right? Then I can type that in and I get a list of all the phrases. And now this will continually update. It gives me a way to monitor what's going on, right? Um, so that's in terms of monitoring the tool. I can monitor both my content and other content. I could also monitor a hashtag, obviously, if I wanted to do that specifically, just type in the hashtag instead of the phrase there. Um, but I can also create content, right? So I can click here, I can type in whatever my tweet is gonna be, showing off how to use a tweet deck. And you'll see there's this little indicator down here indicating how much, because you only have now 280 characters available to you, it shows you how many of those characters you've used. I can add images or video. I can also turn it into a direct message. Um, I can, and as you notice, I have all, I have actually four accounts connected. One I no longer monitor. It's an old account in my previous research center, uh, but that one's up there. Um, but I could tweet to all of these at the same time, or I can only tweet to one at a time, right? Um, and the other thing I could do is, 
and this is a smart idea from a marketing and brand perspective. I often don't bother to do this because I'm not quite that concerned about it, but I could schedule the tweet to go out at some point in the near future, right? Um, so rather than having it go out at 2.34 right now, it's setting up PM, it's setting up to go out at a later date. You can even have it scheduled to go out on another day, right? So it's a good way to handle your social media monitoring. Now, TweetDeck is fairly, um, it's very well organized and I love the way it just has a nice clean interface. However, it's, it's somewhat, um, limited in the amount of, of things it can do. And so to show you a slightly more powerful tool that can kind of scale up, I'm going to flip over and show you a little bit of Hootsuite. Okay. So thank you for your time and we'll switch now. Hi. So here we have the Hootsuite interface and Hootsuite, unlike TweetDeck is, uh, not, it, it is completely free to begin with but you can uh, pay more money to get additional features. Another thing that makes it different than TweetDeck is that it allows you to connect to more social networks rather than just Twitter. So right now I'm set up in the basic uh, Hootsuite setup, uh, which is the free tier of usage. And essentially that allows you to connect to three social networks um, for free. And then you can, if, you want, if you want more than that, you can pay money. And so in this case, I'm connected to Twitter, I'm connected to my Facebook account, and I'm connected to LinkedIn as well, right? Um, and one of the great things about Hootsuite is that you can kind of have all of that in one interface, so you can have it all set up so somebody can measure it and look at it and monitor it without having to go to three different kind of uh, platforms, right? Uh, and a nice thing is you can also just quickly compose content that you can post to three different interfaces. So I can post to Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn all simultaneously, right? So I can say, checking out um, uh, Hootsuite, right? And then I can click on which accounts I want it to show up on. And in fact, it even gives me kind of a preview of what it's gonna look like. I can send now, or I can schedule it for a later date, right? So I can say, oh, let's do it at five, 4 p.m. today, right? Um, and kind of this gives me the ability to kind of post the content in whichever way I want to do. And um, with the standard free, you can set up to 30 messages to schedule, right? So that allows you to post content. And, you know, I don't have to post all three. I can post just one or two, which is kind of a nice aspect to it, okay? Um, now, I can also monitor for content, obviously, much like... I could on the other, uh, on, on TweetDeck. So I can add a stream um, and that stream could be, um, you know, my mentions, I can see my likes, my retweets, everything else, much like I could on TweetDeck, or I could do a search, right, for like digital marketing, right? And I can add that stream and sure enough, there it goes showing up right away, right? Um, and, you know, so I can monitor my own content. I can also monitor searches for content. Um, I could, you know, add other accounts if I wanted to, right? So I could go into manage social networks and um, I want to add a private network. Hootsuite also, it's really set up to eventually be an enterprise tool. So as you scale up, you can scale up with it. So private networks are ones that only your account has access to, but I can also have a shared social network. So I could, for instance, have an account for my company that's shared among two or three people, and I can securely do that through Hootsuite, right? Um, which provides a nice, easy way to do that, right? Um, the other nice thing about Hootsuite is it gives you a lot of analytics built in. So it's essentially going out and grabbing from Twitter analytics or Facebook insights or Google analytics all of the data it can. And if you're using their uh, link shortener, Owly, right, it will also provide you its own internal analytics based upon that, right? Um, unfortunately, because I'm still using the free account, I can't actually show it. I can't pull one up for my own data, but you can kind of see what these accounts might look like, okay? Um, 
you also have the ability, and this is very powerful if you're doing like massive customer service or even minor customer service, to create um, a account as part of an organization and then assign messages that come in about your organization to different members of the organization. So for instance, if you get a customer service complaint, you can say, oh, Bob in marketing is gonna handle that one, you know, Sarah in operations is gonna handle this one, and you can kind of spin those uh, messages off as they come in, really allowing you a ticketing system. Uh, there's some contests and some app directory. One of the most important things I think I want to show you is the education aspect. So Hootsuite has a Hootsuite Academy uh, where you can take free courses on how to train and use the Hootsuite tool. Um, and some of these are more general to just how to do social marketing. Uh, so that's Hootsuite. Kind of gives you a quick example of how you might want to work with some of these tools. Uh, and I hope this is helpful.